Howdy folks, in today's video we are going to make a custom heater for the truck cap camper using fire bricks. So I drove up to my local tractor supply company, we're going to pick up a few fire bricks, a metal bucket, some sand, and some metal rods, and that should do it. Well let's get to it. Well three out of four isn't bad, but uh, I decided to check out the big orange store and see if they might have sand in just a smaller quantity. So let's go find out. Well, we made it to the campsite. I'm gonna get a fire started over there because it's really cold out here. But that's a good night for a test. So once we get the fire started, I'll put the fire bricks on top of the fire. We'll get them nice and hot, then we'll put them back in the bucket. We'll take them inside the tramper and we'll see how well they perform. Smoke in the eyes. <laughs> Fire feels good. It is pretty cold out here. When I say pretty cold, it's probably like 30. I just don't like cold weather. <laughs> the fire bricks are getting nice and toasty. I'll let them heat up some more. They've probably been on for probably close to an hour by now. I just want them good and hot from we stick them in the bucket. But um, we'll take them in. We'll get a temperature reading once we first go in there. And then we'll see how long it takes to warm up if it warms up. I was laying in bed last night thinking how much I hate winter 
and I thought, huh, let's do a little experiment, see if we can come up with a neat way to heat the tramper. Usually I heat it with a Mr. Buddy propane heater. Almost can't beat it, heats it up real quick. Uh, you just have to keep a window open. And if I have shore power available, then I just use an electric heater. Fire feels good. I right, just hopped inside the tramper here. And it's currently 34 degrees in here. I guess it's a little warmer inside than it was outside. All right, let's go in. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the curtain down. That'll help insulate a little bit too, so. It's nice and warm, the heat just radiates up. The bucket itself is warm, but not hot, like scalding hot or anything to the touch. And the sand is definitely working to keep the bottom of the bucket nice and cool. So I don't have to be afraid of uh, burning up my floor and myself in the process. <laughs> so far, so good. I will set a timer. I can find my, I hear my phone. There it is. I'll start a stopwatch and we'll check back periodically to see what the temperature is. Alright, we are 18 minutes into this test and it is now currently 47 degrees. I don't know if you can see that. The fire bricks are still too hot to touch. They'll burn your fingers. And it's still climbing. It's not climbing super fast. You're not going to freeze to death with it in here. The Mr. Buddy definitely works better. We'll do another video showing how well that works. We'll check back at a half hour. <gasps> I think my wife's here with dinner. <laughs> okay, we are at our 30 minute check-in. Actually, about 31 minutes. And the temperature inside here is now 51 degrees. It's definitely not going to make you sweat, but will it keep you alive? I think so. At least for a while. <laughs> One hour. And as you can see, the room temperature has dropped back down to 47. So I'm not sure this would be something that you would want to uh, rely totally on your heat, especially if it's even colder than 30 degrees outside. It is pretty windy right now, so it does feel a little colder than 30. The fire bricks are still hot. I can only keep my finger on them for about two seconds. Uh, probably about a half hour ago, it was about one second. They're definitely uh, retaining the heat for a while. And I think it would be something where if you were, you know, snuggled up in a sleeping bag and you had the fire bricks pretty close to you, I think it would be um, enough to keep you alive, hopefully. Oh, by the way, if you found this video informational, informative, fun, whatever, I would appreciate it if you would hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please do so and tell maybe a hundred of your friends because that'd be really cool. That's all I got for this one. We're gonna do more in the future here probably do one on the Mr. Buddy heater. That's definitely my go-to heat source for when it's cold outside, uh, especially if I don't have shore power. If I have shore power, then I'm definitely using the electric heater. But um, yeah, we'll do a couple videos on those. And uh, But that's all I got for now. And I appreciate you sticking around. Until next time, Godspeed. Godspeed.